Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind Guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the crappy day, but welcome back to the Porsche 718. Now, by now, hopefully you've seen that I've bought a Porsche 718, but if you haven't, there it is. And today's video is all about the first drive, the first experience, first thrill of driving this car. So. I've had this car a little while, it's obviously not the first drive for me, but obviously it's the first drive on YouTube. And so, really, I wanted to show you guys what this car is like out on the road, what it sounds like, what it drives, what it feels like, and just really take you along for the drive and show you the sensation of driving this Porsche 718. So, let's jump inside and let's go for a spin. Forever, and I won't waste it. Right, so guys, welcome to the inside of the car. So this is going to be the first drive, so let me just... Um, what I've been told, if you put this the sports chrono little button thing in sport, it's louder than uh, the normal. So here we go. Here, here, here it goes. Let me just turn that. Let me just turn that fan. Bit. <laughs> oh, right. So PDKs, which is their 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 automatic gearbox. So pop it into drive. Yeah. So in, in Sport Plus on the Sports Chrono, that uh, was well just Sports Mode, it makes the, the, the gear, button, gear changes sharper, but also it holds gears for a little bit longer. Jesus! A, it slides a lot, and B, it sounds amazing! Doing 
about 17 inch faster than a gallon which is not great it's not a town car but you know it will go up uh, if you drive it not like i've just done but yeah it, it does it does it, it's just easy it's just usable it doesn't feel too big you know going through town there's this part there's cars parked there it doesn't feel too big or or, or too lumbering or, or, or cumbersome at all it just feels great um visibility wise it's brilliant you know when you're driving it wind mirrors look great you know the visibility out the windows are brilliant and yeah it just feels like a very usable friendly car what i'm going to do now is i'm just about to come up to a national speed limit at 60 mile an hour road so i think i'm going to be quiet i'm just going to let the car and the, and the sound do the talking so uh, sport mode for a start engine changes down a few gears and let's go Let me show you what that means. Jesus! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, I'm a bit of a You guys saw that, didn't you? That is unbelievable. The, if I ever, if you, are, you know, if I continue to buy Porsches, I am never, never buying one without PDK and without that bloody button. Because oh my god! Right, there's no one behind me. Right, I'm in normal mode. So you know, you're just cruising along normally. Ready? Seven. 
amazing. I just, it's so addictive. Really, really comfortable. They've designed the car nicely. It's on nice tyres. They're not on run flats like my John Cooper works were. And yeah, it's just really nicely set up. And you know, you don't feel like you're in a really grand sports car. You're not. You're in a comfortable little two-seater, you know, pretty cool little car. So yeah, from that perspective, it's great. But yeah, when you go through the twisty stuff, the steering is really, really nice and sharp. The car handles nicely. If you manage to get into a corner at the right speed, so the car is level, then when you feel the car go through, it really sticks in and wants to pull you more into the middle of the into the middle of the road, which is a really tough thing to do for a sports car. But it does it. It doesn't feel big. As I said, it doesn't feel cumbersome. And when you do kind of slip out. slip out when you're, when, you're, when you're driving because of the weight I think the weight distribution is it doesn't want to carry itself with the, the kind of the slide that you're kind of in what it does it creates itself nicely as soon as you take it off it does create itself back um, the benefit of the John Cooper works it had a bit of lift off over here which was really really quite a nice little thing to have and I won't waste it and I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my So guys, that has been a very exciting first drive of my new Porsche 718 Cayman. I hope I kind of got across to you guys how exciting this car is. I did a lot of screaming because ultimately it just makes you want to. It's so fast, it revs so high for a turbocharged engine, it sounds brilliant. I think one of the things that a lot of people have said is the 981, the previous generation Cayman, which was not the turbocharged engine, sounded a lot better. To be honest, it does sound better. But if you're going to be converting to a four-cylinder, two-litre turbocharged engine like this car is, then you can't, you, you know, there are a lot of good sounding ones, but this sounds brilliant. It does sound really, really good. Again, the handling is fantastic. It gives you the confidence to be able to drive it like a sports car, like you want to drive it. I know a lot of sports cars on the market feel very safe or feel a little bit scary. And, and you know, th there isn't really a middle ground. With this one, it's a really, really lovely driving car, which I think is a testament to how well Porsche have designed this car. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment what you thought about the driving of the car. If you've driven one, let me know what you guys think. And actually, it'd be really interesting if you've driven the previous generations, any generation came in, let me know how they kind of stack up, what you kind of think, if you get the same, same sensations. But again, I really hope you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe, see future videos, because there will be a lot, lot more. 2020 is a big year for me for YouTube, so I will be doing a lot more. I want to get to a thousand subscribers. I know it's a long way for me, but I hope you guys can help. But um, subscribe, see future videos, but for now, I'll see you soon.